diving straight into this video we are and you can see we are already on my twitter profile straight off the bat if you aren't yet following me on twitter by all means hit that follow button to stay up to date um, and this video is all about how to use hashtags correctly on Twitter. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background and history on um, hashtags and equally show you some of the best practices that you wanting to be using each and every time you're um, posting on Twitter or each time you're tweeting. And as always, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel as well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my weekly videos. So this is the end result of where we all want to get to when we're posting on Twitter, when we're tweeting, when we're sharing business information, when we're sharing whatever information you want to share with the outside world. This is the end result. So I've just uploaded this one and it's um, I'm tweeting about one of my uh recent videos that I uploaded to my YouTube channel. In this video, I explain how to correctly set up and optimize your YouTube channel for success. And I had the YouTube video link here, and I've added three hashtags here as well. YouTube, YouTube channel, and set up a YouTube, or set up YouTube channel. So I've utilized hashtags on this particular post. The post is about setting up and optimizing a YouTube channel. And I've used these three hashtags. So basically what happened and how hashtags work, if anyone was to now click on those hashtags, it will take you to all of the posts that include those particular hashtags. So, and I will get back to showing you how that actually works but I wanted to start with this straight away this is the result of where we want to get to so let me just go to my newsfeed or home page on Twitter and let's just scroll through the newsfeed to see if we can find any other tweets and posts on Twitter and some hashtags so here's one Cronulla Sharks are the rugby league football team follow they've got a hashtag saying up up um, and for anyone who is wanting to know that that's the first lines to our team song we say up up Cronulla so there we go Cronulla Sharks the rugby league team um, they got some late mail about tonight's game and they're utilising one simple hashtag. Um, here we go, the uh, newspaper here in Sydney. Um, here we go, the National Rugby League. It's Friday night here in Sydney. This is the game tonight. We are ready, NRL versus Panthers versus Sharks. So they've used the hashtag NRL Panthers and Sharks. Again, if anyone wants to click on that, it will then take them to information on all on that particular topic. Just show you one more so you're then getting an idea. Jeff Bullis, um, he's um, someone I follow on Twitter, always posting great social media content. He's just utilised a very simple one, social media tools, and away we go. See if we can find one more quick one just to give people an idea on the idea of or you know why you would be using hashtag before we dive totally into it here we go what's this one um gold diggers in victoria have have found two huge gold nuggets nine news is one of the television stations here in australia and they've just utilized the hashtag nine news so if i was to now click on that nine news it's now going to bring up all the tweets that have nine news within them so basically it allows you to quickly and simply find information on a particular topic so the more technical um, explanation of hashtag a hashtag is any word or phrase without a space beginning with the hashtag the hashtag symbol people use hashtags to find content related to a given topic. So when you click on a hashtag, just like I showed you that example before, you go directly to search results for that particular term. So think of it as a reference tool, it narrows down, it allows you to quickly find information on a particular topic. So whenever tweeting or whenever you're posting on Twitter, you always want to use an image, you're always wanting to add a video link like I've done, you're definitely always wanting to use hashtags. I find the sweet spot on Twitter anywhere between two to four hashtags. Equally, you're wanting to activate the direct messaging feature that allows people to communicate back to you. Um, and you then want to maybe also look at utilizing this tool. Hashtagify is a great online resource that will help you quickly identify, you know, what are the best hashtags to be utilizing Reading, um, the tweet that you're just about to post. So here is that website, Hashtagify. I have no relationship with them. I'm just a customer of theirs like lots of others. Um, and it's a great research tool. Simply, sorry, simplifying hashtag marketing. Instantly identify top hashtags 
and Twitter influencers to maximize your success on social media. So it is a great tool. They've done all the hard work. So this is what all the top people do on all of the social media platforms. They they utilize other simple tools like this. They invest a little bit of money. And let me tell you, it pays back many times multiples, five times, 10 times, 20 times, 50 times, 100 times. So here is a great research tool that you might want to also consider using as well. So here are two more quick bullet points to remember whenever um, posting on Twitter. You can bring a tweet to another person's attention by including their username or their their, their um, Twitter handle in your message. Um, you could also use it to ask someone a question, thank them or simply highlight a piece of content. So as well as using hashtag, the, there's two more quick bullet point tips to utilize as best practice as well. So Twitter is extremely popular, extremely powerful to um, get your message out quickly and easily and fast. And that's what people are, are on Twitter for. They, they, they're scanning, they're scrolling the news. They, you you want to get straight to the, just like I have in this video or my tweet, in this video I explain how to correctly set up your, optimize your YouTube channel and added those particular hashtags as well. Remembering your character count on um, Twitter is only 280 characters. Um, an image takes up 22 character spaces. Your hashtags take up character spaces as well. And your message takes up character spaces as well. So you want to get um, you know, right to the point, short, sharp, quick information. And let me show you how we can actually do some researching on hashtags. So it'll, all of this is now coming together on why you'd be wanting to use hashtags, the reasoning behind it, and how to actually use hashtags as well. Make sure you stick around because I'm going to do one final tweet as well to show everyone that example. So I'm utilizing Twitter now as the search engine. I've gone to the top right of my screen here and I've typed in hashtag Rugby World Cup. So let's press enter. And up is going to come all the posts that have the hashtag Rugby World Cup. So hopefully all of this is now coming together. I'm demystifying the world of Twitter for you. I'm demystifying the world of hashtags for you. So you can start seeing by utilizing Twitter as a search engine, I've been it's come up with a whole range of posts regarding Rugby World Cup, and it's um, listed them in chronological order based on their algorithm. So if what I was wanting to find out some information on the Rugby World Cup, this is what's trending. These are the news articles. These are the tweets that people are posting on Rugby World Cup. So this particular one, the um, Duke of Sussex, this is uh, Prince Harry when he was still Prince Harry, uh, hashtag Rugby World Cup. That's why that particular one has come up here. This person here is mounted on a canvas uh, when South Africa won the Rugby World Cup um, and it just scrolls on and on and on. And here we go. England speeds to Jason Robinson. He's taking the field. That was the Rugby World Cup here in Australia 2003 where England beat Australia. I remember it vividly. But you can see how quickly you can start to use Twitter in lots of different ways to find and gather information. So for your business and brand, if you're wanting to promote your business and brand, that's why hashtags become really, really important and really relevant that you use them each and every time. I'm doing it in a different form this time. Click the link below to learn how to correctly set up your YouTube channel for success. So I've actually put the image, the thumbnail image this time because that way it's going to be a larger image. But I'm going to add those hashtags as well. So what you can do is utilize um, one of the tricks is to make your um, hashtags a little more is to use capital letters. Um, now, it doesn't matter whether you use capital letters or not. The um, the uppercase or lowercase doesn't particular matter. It doesn't matter. So YouTube, uh, what else can we use? I've used a YouTube channel. Uh, um, create YouTube. Oh, no spaces, remember? create a YouTube channel. There we go. I'll leave it with three hashtags again. The sweet spot on Twitter tends to be two to four. Click the link below to learn how to correctly set up your YouTube channel for success. So I'm, there's a call to action. To, I've utilized the thumbnail. I've utilized some hashtags. 
we click the blue button for tweet and there we go we have it here it's now populated through to the news feed on twitter people who are following me now have the opportunity to click and watch my video and learn more about social media for business in this particular one beginner's guide to setting up a youtube channel hashtags that i've used um, and now currently clickable for anyone on Twitter to now um, research and find information around creating a YouTube channel. So that ha that's how simple and easy it is. And that is the idea behind why you would be wanting to be utilizing hashtags on Twitter. And hashtags are to sometimes things, I firmly believe they're an everyday thing for every time we're posting on Twitter. So there we go. Hopefully you found this video informative, entertaining and helpful. And I've opened your eyes a little bit more to the world of Twitter. And I've opened your mind and your eyes to how to correctly use hashtags on Twitter as well. So, and I suppose in general, if you're going to be using hashtags on Instagram or LinkedIn, um, you know, the, the theory, the idea is behind um, the same as that as well, because uh, hashtags are a great, great way for us to, you know, um, filter through content and have our content found. And it definitely needs to be part of your strategy, part of your mix. And as I said at the start of this video, if you're watching this via Twitter, don't forget to hit that follow button to stay up to date with all of my weekly social media content. Um, equally, you might be watching it on my YouTube channel as well. So um, I'm up to about 130, 140 videos now. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tick the bell icon to stay up to date with all of my weekly content. And equally, if you found yourself watching this video via my Facebook page, give me a thumbs up and a like there. Leave me a comment. Also, you may well have found me via my LinkedIn profile. Don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. Send me a message. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123 signing off. And I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon in another one of my videos.